Andrew, I want to talk about the nuance here. As we went to air, you were talking about not raging, but being a raving bull. You're not a raving bull, but you're in the market. How can you do that? Well, I mean, I, I, all I'm trying to say is, look, I mean, let's keep it simple here. Stocks are the present value of future expectations. And what I see is companies are blowing out expectations. So I don't see how you can't take a step back and say, wow, you know, uh, yeah. something's going on. Companies are saying things are better than what Wall Street expects. And I think you have to respect that. Uh, in what the market's right. saying. The charm of your research note is you've got the usual blather and then you've got a killer paragraph of data where you'll go, oh, he and Morgan Stanley did your homework. You have the street with an 11% miscalculation on earnings. They just they missed it by 11%. Put that in scope and scale. What does it mean forward? Well, you know, I, that's why I've a hard time saw someone telling me well, you know, we started the year with $167 of earnings. That was what Wall Street expected. We're now at 185. I, I guess I'm just not smart enough to for to listen to someone who says that's it. It's not going up. I mean, I have a hard time believing that. And the market is only up by the magnitude of that earnings whiff. So I don't think you can say the market's gotten frothier than it was earlier in the year. No, the market's just repriced based on that miss. And if we continue to move higher, which I think it's always very dangerous to draw the kind of the, the line in the sand and say, this is it, yep. uh, then I think the market will continue to push higher. The other thing that I think is really important here is the Dow Jones Industrial Transport, the old index that tells you how the market, it's kind of 13 weeks in a row. That's you got to respect that something is going on here that I think Wall Street is not optimistic enough about uh, the the what companies are saying.